Hello everyone. Um, okay, this video is gonna be quite different. Um, I'm gonna have like a series of this. Uh, so this is part one, and basically it's gonna be done once in a while, and it's a bunch of random questions put together around ten questions, and then after maybe a week or two, I'll do a video with answers. But okay, uh, let's start with the one for Christians. Okay. Um, most of us have heard about secret societies, about the Illuminati and Freemasons and whatnot, whatnot. And um, I'm not trying to brush them off as real, fake, or whatever it is. But I feel like most of the people that claim to be Christians, that claim to be people of God, or whatever, um, they seem to spend most of their time just trying to figure out these things and trying to figure out what they're about, going into depth of the like to the point where you know it, it's getting a bit like um what are they putting in front like why what is more important at the moment so telling somebody about the word of god or telling somebody about how they shouldn't do this because the illuminati or freemason whatever, whatever i'm not saying that people shouldn't be aware of it fair enough but like i'm aware of it and i know there's some things i need to avoid to go into that but Every, uh, the last time I watched a video about Illuminati was a long time ago, but I'm aware of it, kind of thing. But, um, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong or something, but I would really like an answer to that. But, um, next question. Is it okay to keep in touch with your exes? Um, a lot of people say, you know, after a relationship has ended well, yeah, that's cool. You know, you can be friends. Sure. Right, which is fair enough, I mean. But, um, what if, you know, you're in the same friendship circles. What do you kind of do? Do you, you know, stop seeing your friends or what? What do you? What, what can? What's the solution to that? Um, the next one is for black people. Do you go for light skin or dark skin people? If so, why? Basically, um, if any of you I don't know if you've heard of Square Three, uh, like on YouTube, they're they're sort of vloggers like me, but um. They like it's loads of girls who talk about different topics. They're really good. I'll post the link at the bottom. Um, but they they had a discussion about light skinned or dark skinned people, and um, it triggered me to ask like, do black people go for certain types of people, or is it a mixture, or do you even care like what color somebody is? But yeah, uh, the fourth one. Uh, is a bit of a controversial issue, but here it goes. What race? does a mixed race person belong to because I've heard people who let's say for example uh, the typical mixed race is black and white isn't it um, I've heard a lot of people that are mixed race saying that they're black fair enough you know if you feel that way you know some people have you know a background towards their black side so obviously they feel more comfortable saying they're black and I'm not cancelling that out because obviously I'm not trying to create divisions in you but doesn't that also mean that they're cancelling out their white side or whichever other mix they have? And, you know, why can't they be just like a mixed race race, if that makes any sense? But yeah, um, why, why, why does that happen? I'd really like to know that. And the fifth question was from a non-believer, and they said, if God knew the world would end up like this, why did he create it? And I couldn't answer it directly because I believe there's some things that we just, we can try and wrap our hand, we'll wrap our heads around it, but we'll never really understand. And personally, I'm okay with that because I, I can't question why God made the word when it's there, you know what I'm saying? I can't, it, what, what would the answer really do for me personally? But I know there's other, obviously, loads of people out there who wonder exactly the same thing. But, um, if anyone's got like, a way to explain this to a non-believer that would be really cool and um, the sixth one uh, do you believe there is life beyond this planet um, I've heard quite a lot of theories about this from different Christians there's things like uh, there's 99 other planets uh, where people exist but they're still in the sort of garden even Eden phase or something so they haven't entered there or whatnot. but um, if anyone's got some way of explaining this. This was sort of a non but I've I've kind of got confused with this question. Um and the next one is who is more unfaithful, men or women? 
This one should be quite interesting. And uh, the next one is, is money the root of all evil? Um, this one is a bit vague, so I'll rephrase that one. Is money evil? Like, um, is is it any way, you know, like, is, does it make, does having money mean, you know, you're a bad person, like it has loads of money, or something like that. Um, does all life have to end? Uh, that was, I guess, from an unbeliever. Um, with that one, I, did, I don't know what's going on because obviously, you know, we're, we're not in this, this planet yet to live forever. I believe living forever is for another time and not now. But um, how to explain that to an unbeliever, I have no idea. So if you could help with that, that would be really cool. And should other races be allowed to use the N word? Uh, yeah, we all know what the N word is. And because obviously uh, it was used to degrade, to degrade, you know, black people a long time ago, and they've just twisted it around all the uh, singers and whatnot, twisted it around to mean something cool. But does that mean other races can use it? Personally, I would question: Does it? Should we be using it on each other? But um, so yeah, those are the ten questions for now. I'm going to write them all down in the description box, and if you could give me your answers it would be really cool